hi so you're welcome back to my channel if you're just joining my channel for the first time my name is Wendy Ologe the intentional parent that's the name of my brand all right so yes I am the founder of the intentional parent Academy and I'm the also the author of three best-selling parenting book connect to correct the discipline that works and from yelling to calm if you've been joining us in the past days on this challenge i'm sure by now you must have learned a thing or two right here in this channel and there are lots and lots of other videos that you can also see but today we're looking at this challenge what is your child's favorite tv show where understanding how well do you know your child what's your child's favorite tv show now the question is do you know do you know a lot of the times a lot of parents actually know now that's the first stage a lot of us know if you ask us you say yes i know some people know some people don't but the question again is have you ever watched it with them so when you say ask parents you know yes i know and then you say have you ever watched with them i say i don't even understand what it is that they do there a parent recently reached out to us and I was talking about the daughter who is always reading on one of those reading um, platforms. I, I think that was um, either BAM Books or I think Amazon Kindle or something. And you know, she complained. She said, oh, she's always reading something, always online. And when I go, I see her reading a book. I don't even know what she's reading. I don't know how it works. And she said to me, how does it work that you're, you're going to be reading online? Oh, wow, wow. And this is someone that is raising a Gen Z child. Now, let me also say this to you. You must learn to become in tune with what is happening in the world per time. Now, if you are a millennial, which I want to presume that you are watching this video because a lot of the people who watch my videos are millennials and the Gen Zers, right? So if you're a millennial and you're raising children, either Gen Z child or generation alpha child, just look at this video right in our video series to find out who is the Gen Z child. We've shared a video on that and you will be able to really watch and catch up on who is the Gen Z child, right? So you want to understand, I call it the cultural shift. You want to understand the kind of culture that these children live in. So saying, oh, I don't like those cartoons, oh, I don't like, also is a form of disconnect for you and your child. You want to understand who your child is. If you want to do that, then believe you me, you want to begin to learn what they are watching. And also remember that in the previous videos, we, we shared who influences your child the most. Now, the question you want to ask yourself is, if I'm asking who influences my child the most, it could be a character in the TV. Do you even know who that is? So if you've not had the chance or the time uh, because a lot of the time parents say, I don't even have the time to just sit down and just watch, just create that time. You know, we create time for what is most important to us. So you must understand that what is most important to us is actually where the real you know, deal is. So the question you want to ask yourself today is, what is most important to me? Create time to watch that your child's favorite show. I remember sometime last year, we started watching Fancy Nancy show and it was one of my daughter's favorite shows. At some point, we started to watch, it's, it's quite, quite, you know, a night um, TV show. But you know what? Many times, our children don't even get to watch TV shows or there is we've actually watched it with them and we can now say, oh yes, it's the kind of thing we want to expose our children to. You want to do the same as well. So apart from just know, using this to just know who your child is, you want to also be in the life, in the life of your child, understanding memories. And watching the Fancy Nancy show just made my daughter want to see Eiffel Towers, made her want to go to Paris and all that. And you know, we, we, kept, we all kept having conversations around that and everybody fell in love with the fact that, you know, Nancy talks about Paris a lot and eventually we chose the destination to actually visit Paris last year so many of the times and the children learned so much from that one trip many of the times you want to actually be in the life of your child our daughter cannot forget that that was one of the reasons why we actually went to Paris and it was just awesome and awesome idea and an awesome trip for her so just by watching her favorite show we were able to get in sync with what it is that we can do with her 
that will create fun for her all right because already we were thinking of going to somewhere else that wasn't a destination that you know we she had in mind we could have also gone yes but this has made more memories for her because we understood her and understood what it is that she was you know clamoring for so what is your child also learning on these tv shows that we're talking about a lot of the times we're also not looking at these things we say oh our children somebody said oh my children like watching pj max and i said so what's pj max about she said I, i'm not supposed to know no no dear parents you're supposed to know it's your job to actually know what your child is watching oh yes i said so it is your job to know exactly what your child is watching so just yesterday some time ago not yesterday I, I had a conversation with my daughter on her favorite tv show you know and of course her favorite tv show is sophia the first it has been sophia for a while then Snap fancy nancy then elena of avalon and all that then i've also seen i've seen almost all the episodes of of um fancy nancy and um sophia the first it doesn't mean that i sit down all day watching cartoons or something our, our, our children don't even watch cartoons all day they don't even watch tv during school days at all so you know the ones that are available when they are available like during holiday like this times they get to watch and we get to sit down to watch with them a few of the times all right and the few times that we watch we actually get to pick things that we can have conversation on if you must build connections with your children then you must do that from the place of you know understanding them and knowing what it is that they enjoy all right so I, I I hadn't watched Elena at some point and I decided that okay I was going to catch up on Elena and understand what that particular series was all about and I'm glad I I actually you know did because research shows that joint media engagement for parents and child spending time together with the media has profound effects on children so in other words to help your children you simply need to join them that's the truth they they say they say they say there's something that being able to actually watch these things with your child does for your child so you want to build this connection create a good joint media circle with your children all right the coolest part is that the mere presence of you with the children while the children are watching this tv is can actually be enough so it's not like you're not you, you need to watch and then concentrate and watch it for you know two hours while they watch or something if you're there for 20 minutes you know i say that the greatest challenge of parenting is not presence the greatest challenge of parenting is being present without connection and without content so a lot of the times you say we're present but present doing what so if you understand that just watching this series with your child for 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes would mean so much with your for your child than just sitting with your child and pressing phone for two hours and say you spend time with your child they're not the same all right the other parent is going to have a better result than you do because that parent is connecting all right people argue that you know simple act of watching tv with your child communicates that the child wants to be the child is important to you that's number one that's what you know a lot of scholars say that when you sit to watch tv with your child look at the things you're communicating one that your child is important to you two that the parent approves of the content so it helps your child be able to be in sync so when those things happen children tend to pay more attention to the program and ultimately they learn better so you need to find out today what is your child's tv favorite tv program and if that tv program is some of the things that you approve of according to your value but the question i also want to ask today is what is your media plan in one of our courses walking your child through puberty part of what we do in one of the modules is to help you understand your family media plan and create one if you do not have so your family media plan is created around your value system now the question you want to ask or you want to know or what you want to know today is what is my family media plan 
if you do not have a media plan create one today if you want me to do some sort of short video to show you how to create one chat right here in the comment section let me know make comments ask your questions don't forget to share this video share with parents that need to hear those things we need to create a better world by hearing some of those things that we are sharing do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also turn on notification we have lots of videos like this and even more for you to learn from and you also want to catch replay of our just concluded TIP annual conference 2020 is right here you can just search out TIP annual conference 2020 and get right on it don't forget to share this video again don't forget share 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 and don't forget to find out on all our social media handles we share different angles of parenting on our social media handle we're on social media at the intentional parents on instagram we are on facebook as the intentional parent when do you look at the intentional parent when you go we have a, a massive community of over 33,000 people parents learning every day so you might also want to join us there thank you for being here with me today see you again as we share more on how to know your child how well do you know your child today right i hope that this video has made meaning to you thank you for being here and don't forget to like this video and share it thank you